We're going to discuss the topic of pharmacokinetics in area under the curve, A, U, C, by Professor Saminit and Kyra Hanam. Next slide, explanation of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. The relationship between dose and effect can be separated into pharmacokinetic, dose concentration, and pharmacodynamic, concentration effect, components. The concentration provides the link between pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics and is the focus of the target concentration approach to rational dosing. 1. Drug absorption. It is the movement of a drug from its site of administration into the bloodstream. 2. Drug distribution. It is the process by which a drug leaves the bloodstream and enters the extracellular fluids and tissues, for example, fat, muscle, and brain tissue. 3. Drug metabolism. It is the metabolic breakdown of drugs by living organisms, usually through specialized enzymatic systems. 4. Drug elimination slash excretion. The drug is terminated by enzyme-catalyzed conversion to an inactive, or less active, compound and or elimination from the body via the kidney or other routes. 5. Drug effect, the physiological and or biochemical changes in the body produced by a drug, benefit the patient for the treatment. 6. Drug toxicity, it's referring to the level of damage or injury that a drug can cause to living organisms. Next slide, pharmacokinetics of administered drug. The figure describes the interrelationship of the absorption, distribution, binding, metabolism, and excretion of a drug and its concentration at its sites of action. The possible distribution and binding of metabolites in relation to their potential actions at receptors are not depicted. Next slide, area under the curve, A, U, C, or Drug concentration in plasma versus time curve. 1. Area under the curve, A, U, C. The area under curve is the plasma drug concentration time curve, A, U, C, reflecting the actual body exposure to the drug after administration of a dose of the drug and is expressed in M, G per M, L. This area under the curve is dependent on the rate of elimination of the drug from the body and the dose administered. 2. Plasma drug concentration, P, D, C. Plasma drug concentration is derived by collecting a blood sample at any time after drug administration and measuring the amount of a drug in a given volume of blood plasma of the sample. 3. Minimum effective concentration, M, E, C. Minimum effective concentration, M, E, C is the minimum plasma concentration of a drug needed to achieve sufficient drug concentration at the receptors to produce the desired pharmacologic response. 4. Maximum safe concentration, MSC. Maximum safe or therapeutic concentration, M, S, C, or minimum toxic concentration, M, T, C. It is the concentration of drug in plasma above which adverse or unwanted effects are precipitated. 5. Therapeutic index or window. The therapeutic window or therapeutic drug ranges between the maximum safe or therapeutic concentration, M, S, C, and minimum effective concentration, M, E, C. The therapeutic index, T, I, is the range of doses at which a medication is effective without unacceptable adverse events. Next slide. Drug plasma concentration and therapeutic response. 6. Onset of action. The duration of time it takes for a drug's plasma concentration reach to the minimum effective concentration, or, first evidence of its effect. A. 7. Duration of action. The duration of action of a drug is the length of time that drug is effective. Duration of action is the time duration between the drug reaching the minimum concentration after administration and the concentration reaching the sub-therapeutic concentration. The time duration between the onset of action and termination of action is also known as the duration of action. 8. Sub-therapeutic level. The drug serum concentration is lower than the minimum effective concentration. M. E. C. 9. Peak plasma concentration, or C max. C max is the highest concentration of a drug in the blood. The maximum, peak, 
plasma concentration is reached when the drug elimination rate equals the absorption rate. 10. T max, time to reach C max. The time it takes for a drug to reach the maximum concentration, C max, after administration of a drug that needs to be absorbed, for example an oral drug. A T max is governed by the rate of drug absorption and the rate of drug elimination. 11. Intensity of action. The intensity of response increases in direct proportion to drug concentration until a response is maximized defining the maximum pharmacologic effect for that drug. Next slide, loading doses and maintenance doses, 12, loading dose, or, initial dose, comparatively, large doses are given at the beginning of treatment to start getting the effect of a drug, a loading dose is a higher amount of drug often given only once or twice to prime the bloodstream with a sufficient level of drug before plasma levels can drop back towards zero intermittent maintenance doses are given to keep the plasma drug concentration in the therapeutic range loading doses are particularly important for drugs with prolonged half-lives and for situations in which it is critical to raise drug plasma levels quickly as might be the case when administering an antibiotic for a severe infection. In figure, notice that drug it takes almost 5 doses, 48 hours, before a therapeutic level is reached using a routine dosing schedule. With a loading dose in drug B, a therapeutic level is reached within 12 hours. In the figure, multiple dose drug administration. Drug A and drug B are administered every 12 hours drug B reaches the therapeutic range faster because the first dose is a loading dose. Next slide, figure A, describes the interrelationship of concentration versus time to study pharmacokinetics. Figure B, describes the interrelationship of concentration versus effect to study pharmacodynamics. Figure C describes the interrelationship of effect versus time to study pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. Next slide, the figure describes the different plasma concentration based on the several routes of administration like rectal, oral, subcutaneous, intramuscular and intravenous. The intravenous route doesn't have an absorption phase. The oral route has a significant absorption phase when compared with another route. So. The route of administration is considered to be one of the factors which influence the plasma concentration based on the time. Next slide, important pharmacokinetic abbreviations, like, clearance, steady state concentration, dose, dosage rate, fraction of drug absorbed into the systemic circulation, blood flow, extraction ratio, the terminal rate is constant, the volume of distribution, loading dose, maintenance dose, half-life, the elimination rate is constant, the absorption rate is constant, distribution rate constant, duration of infusion, area under serum or blood concentration versus time curve, the maximum rate of drug metabolism, maximum serum or blood concentration and minimum serum or blood concentration, are mentioned in the slide. Thank you for your attention. Further information, kindly contact profsamiacademy at gmail.com. Disclaimer, this channel does is not promote or encourage any illegal activities and all contents provided by this channel are meant for educational purposes only. Any copyrighted material on these slides is included as fair use for educational purposes only. It will be removed at the request of copyright owners is.